One of the Democratic Progressive Party's top agendas once it took office was to freeze the Kuomintang's assets. The KMT responded by filing a lawsuit, and the court ordered the party's assets to be unfrozen, citing insufficient legal foundation. The government's ill-gotten party assets settlement committee is appealing the ruling and has ordered administrative sanctions against the KMT. Bank Sinopec and Bank of Taiwan, the committee also banned all banks from honoring nine KMT-held checks worth 460 million NT dollars, threatening banks with heavy fines. On the morning of November 7th, the Bank of Taiwan refused to cash the checks. The KMT says the committee thinks it is above justice. After Bank Sinopec and the Bank of Taiwan froze Kuomintang assets worth nearly 900 million NT dollars, the KMT filed suit. Citing insufficient legal foundation, the Taipei High Administrative Court ordered the banks to unfreeze the KMT's assets. The cabinet's ill-gotten party asset settlement committee plans to appeal the ruling and ordered administrative sanctions against the KMT and the two banks to prevent the KMT from accessing its assets. The committee also banned the banks from processing nine checks held by the KMT for 460 million NT dollars. KMT officials visited a Bank of Taiwan branch on the 7th to cash the checks, but the bank refused and said it needed a court order. The KMT says the committee regards itself as above the law. The party will announce a downsizing plan this week that will protect the rights of party workers. It will also fight the committee's sanctions in court.